guys welcome to today's video on today's video i'm going to show you how to retrieve a hack whatsapp so before i show you how to retrieve a hack whatsapp now i'm going to explain something very quick and easy this is actually my whatsapp number so i'm going to show you how to retrieve a hacked whatsapp and also what to do to avoid getting hacked on whatsapp so um let's dive into it now the first thing is um these two de device right here these three device rather so this one right here has the whatsapp and then this one doesn't have the whatsapp and then um this also also have a whatsapp but it actually doesn't have the whatsapp number but this one on pink is actually the one that has the whatsapp that i'm actually going to use so now um to actually hack a whatsapp this is actually very easy so the person actually need um access to your device physically um does i'm just like seeing a local way i don't know about how they hack um how they do their ethical hacking though so um this is actually my number i'm putting in so let's say i want to hack this number this is actually what i need to do so i enter in the phone number i click ok and it's going to request a code from that whatsapp number now the funny thing is on this google pixel right here this one is actually where i have the phone number right but then the phone number is not on this device but it shows the code um to the whatsapp instead of sending it as an sms to the phone number so then the hacker is going to be very happy and they will just enter in the detail or the hacked um the detail uh, from the OTP and now when this person realizes that oh I have been hacked and kicked out of my device and then they try to gain access to their WhatsApp and probably they have the phone number on their device so um, what the person does is a click next while this person is trying to have access to it and then you click OK so instead of um let me just go ahead and type in anything so instead of whatsapp to send the otp to this person's phone number because i think i have the phone um the phone is actually on this device so they didn't send the phone to this device instead um it's hacked and the person cannot get it back so now the person did not receive any code right that is because the code was being sent to this other device but because i'm still loading the screen i am not able to get it so the person actually have to wait like two minutes and try to get it back so i'm just going to wait like two minutes and then try to resend the code again um let me pause so guys i have waited two minutes and i still did not receive the code so the first thing people would do is to get frustrated close the app reopen it and then um trying to look for a way to actually type in the code again so now let me assume this is whatsapp right click on info and this is actually the first thing that people will do um clearing the app so i they clear the app so that it clear the catch so that they will be able to um get okay so that they will be able to get the sms sent to their phone number just being frustrated and everything so they close the app open it again and then they uh, most of the times it gives you an option to actually add your phone number again but then what you should have done is right in front of you just click on didn't receive code and then you request to receive an sms so either you receive an sms or you receive a call from whatsapp this option is right there for you and just in case you didn't notice you just have to allow the time to complete once the time completes you get an option like this it's going to tell you to um, choose an option so all you need to do is to choose that you did not receive it and i think the best option to choose is actually the sms especially when you have the phone i think the only issue is when you don't have the phone number then you probably have lost it forever so just click on resend and on this other device you notice it says um whatsapp registration was requesting for that really do not matter because obviously you just need to actually um go to the sim and i think the sim is not even connected to this device now let me go ahead and connect that and you will see the um the sms received 
Alright guys, so immediately I inserted the SIM, I received an SMS and then automatically it came in and then it just logged in. And I actually want to show you guys the SMS and how it worked. So all you needed to do, this is the WhatsApp message, you see? So all you needed to do is actually choose different option to receive the SMS, which most people actually fail to recognize. So once you do that, you just click on next. And then automatically it's going to restore all the previous charts and all of your previous history on whatsapp right here so and on this other device you are going to notice it says um your phone is no longer registered with whatsapp on this phone um this might be because you registered it with another phone number so it's going to give an option to log in and when the person clicks on login agree and enters in the phone number once more i'm going to receive the code so click on OK and then um, you notice I received the code, right? So I'm just going to close it out by clicking on this S. This is actually very risky that I'm doing it on my other phone. So um, it does that and I can just ignore the message. So guys, this is actually how to restore your WhatsApp. Um, your WhatsApp. And then what if uh, for a reason you've actually forgotten your WhatsApp? This is all you need to do. You go to... Um, you go to gmail and then actually before you do this you need to actually have something but then you go to gmail you go to compose and then you go ahead um on the on the gmail you will send this gmail to support at whatsapp it's already showing below you type in support at whatsapp.com and then that is actually the support right so after you type it in i'm looking at the spellings just to be sure that i'm correct you add um the email address support at whatsapp.com you hit that and then the subject you have to make sure you add this but then you actually make have to make sure something you no know, because this battery is also low so then come over to your device this is actually what you need to do before you get hacked enable two-step authentication well enabling two-step authentication is going to ask you to create a pin and i'm actually going to pause this while i create this pin okay trying to create a pin So the important of creating um, a two-step authenticator is that while you're sending a message to their support, they will actually require you to enter in the same email. If you are using the same email, right? Like I created this two-step authentication, right? Now, um, when I'm actually sending message to um, WhatsApp that my account was hacked, I will have to send it with the same email. But then if I did not send it with the same email, that means they might ignore this thinking that I am actually the one that is trying to take advantage of this other person's account. So make sure you enable two-step authenticator. And when you send in Google, um, when you send in WhatsApp message, make sure you send them with the same detail and then go ahead and add the phone number that was accept affected. So once you're done hit send and then they are going to respond to you and help you to resolve that but then that is actually what you need to do before you get hacked if you have not been hacked make sure you enable this two-step authenticator is actually very important and when you've done that it's actually easy for whatsapp to see that okay this is the email that has been there before now and then they will actually help you to resolve your account issues and guys this is all i have for today's video i hope it's been helpful please let me know um on the comment section if you're having any further issue about this and hopefully i'll be able to resolve them also with you guys thank you for watching see you soon peace you can also support my membership and thank you guys for everyone that is my membership so far i really appreciate see you awesome guys peace